guys, how are you guys today on YouTube, I don't know. Well, I want to show my thoughts and opinions on what can you do with a dead battery it will not recharge on your HP G71 laptop computer. You have the right plug, you have everything set like the computer is uh, set to, but the battery on this computer I think is completely bad. I don't know. I don't know if it's any, any way I can fix it to actual we uh, cover the battery cells in them because like I said it's only six cells in a battery pack on a laptop's uh, computer. When one cell goes bad they all go bad at the same time. But I'm going to try to do this experiment and I'm going to see if I can actually freeze the lithium ion cells and the freezer by using a cloth and also a freezer strip lock bag. Now, don't judge me here guys. I don't know if this idea is going to work or not because sometimes trying to refreeze batteries is definitely not a good idea because of the chemicals inside of them are not going to work. When you have a dead battery, you just have to have a dead battery and you can just always have to buy a brand new battery. But that's what I'm going to do with this laptop computer is buy a battery for it as well. But you know what? It happens. And by the way, this computer uh, cannot be unplugged, by the way. If I unplug it, the computer will shut off because it doesn't have the battery backup. Uh, in it to actually keep the computer running means this computer is somewhat down for the count of portability. You constantly have to use this computer on a wall outlet. And by the way, I don't know if it's a something internal along with the battery or something on the motherboard. I don't know. I'm not going to that well, you know. But let's turn you guys around and kind of show you this a lovely old HP uh, G71 laptop computer. Hey y'all guys, here is this awesome laptop computer, and by the way, it does work, everything seems to work on this thing, but down here, where the indicators lights are, that's your power light, that's your charging light, that's your activity light for your whole drive, but over here is where my plug is, if I unplug that, the computer will shut off, because it will not have a battery. In it, but it does have the battery in it, but the battery is actually completely dead. And let's go and move the uh, cursor, little mouse cursor, click on it. <coughs> For you guys can see, the battery is not charging, it's not, it's at 0% not charging. The reason why? Because the battery is bad. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this plug right over here, and show you guys, this computer will not operate with the battery, okay? But it's unplugged. Look what happens. When I unplug the computer, the whole computer goes completely blank. Why? Because it just doesn't. I just plug it back into the charging port. And it should have the indicator light charging. You guys can see it's charging. It's trying to charge, and saw it, and it's just done. It's like it's not able to give a charge on the computer itself. Now we're going to go ahead and plug my plug though. And we're going to go ahead and discharge the computer by holding the power button down. Go ahead and close the laptop. Oh yeah, this is a uh, full size uh, laptop here. This is a very nice computer. But yes, the problem is with the uh, batteries on these computers is they're very expensive for this type of computer. Now, Again, this computer here is just a very old uh, computer. It will work for a new, for it's just a spare computer. But here is the problem. The battery is a genuine HP battery. This uh, will not charge. Don't know if it's anything wrong with the contacts on the battery or the contacts on the motherboard itself. 
but it's not giving the computer a, a battery a charge for the laptop. Now, this computer will run just fine on AC only. But if you want it to be portable, <laughs> you need that to be able to <coughs> charge the battery. The computer and also your AC plug. This is the right AC plug. This is a genuine uh, HP uh, plug itself. Now, here is my cloth. It's just a little towel. And here is my freezer bag. I'm going to sit you guys down and I'm going to put the uh, battery on the cloth and then in the bag and I'm going to see how I can survive this battery but I don't think it's gonna work here guys I don't think it will work because the battery is just completely shot it's just dead it's gone battery cloth and a freezer bag and I try it but yeah, I don't think it's going to work here, guys. I honestly don't. This is just a experiment. I'm going to leave this in maybe for 24 hours overnight. And I will come back and check on it later and see what it's doing. Now, I would not recommend you guys doing this yourself. I will not recommend freezing uh, your batteries at all. Because I have done this experiment before with nickel hydrate batteries. You guys can see the battery is now inside the towel and now going inside the lower ziplock bag. And now we have to roll the air out of the bag. And the reason why we need to do that is we need to actually create a good airtight seal on the bag. Let's give me the computer up please. Now this computer will have maybe a chance to live with its original battery, but this may not work at all. But yes, it is a bummer. It is sad to actually see the battery does not work at all in this computer. But you know what? That's what happens. Sometimes these batteries just wear out in no time. And there is my plug, and there is my computer. The computer will actually power on uh, without the battery being plugged in, but without the battery being in it, the computer is hard to take anywhere without the backup battery. And I can actually turn it on, and it'll work just fine. Just as simple as that, you guys can see. But let's just go ahead and unplug that for right now. I'm not going to worry too much about that. We're doing this experiment to show you this may or may not work. We're going to go out the door. And we're going to go into the garage. Okay. we go in here. Okay. We're taking this battery. Guys, okay, you can see this battery. This is the battery. We're going to stick it on the freezer. Now, here's the freezer. Stick it in there. Just like that. 24 hours. There you go. Now, I don't know, guys. This may not work at all. But let's go ahead and go back into the family room. The battery is now in the freezer. Going to be in there for 24 hours. I think it may work. It may not work at all. I don't know why. I have no clue if it's going to be able to work. Alright guys, because sometimes trying to refreeze a battery, or trying to survive a battery in the freezer, sometimes is not going to work. Now, <clears throat> this computer, by the way, I did get for free. Down at work a long time ago. But it's an awesome little computer. It's just a tinker computer I can try to survive the battery but if it's not going to work I'm just gonna have to buy another battery I don't care it's just an extra machine computer but the computer does work I really appreciate that for the computer working does fine and yes I spent a little bit of money trying to fix it as well but I would recommend you guys 
do not try this at home. Do not freeze, attempt to freeze your lithium ion batteries. It may work, it may not work at all. Alright guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave it down in the comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll see you in the next vlog. And I'll show you the computer itself. Oh, it's the computer.